Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It's the big, big show. It's the recap to the recap. Your boy Joe Crack. Let me be clear. Let me be sincere. Kathy Romeo, what's up? Rasha Belhasid, what's up? Titi Barber, what's good? Crazy Legs, BX, what's good? Rock the Bells, what's good? Cousin Miriam, what's good? This is the biggest show in the land. This is the biggest show in the land. Kamal, what's good? Hot Living. Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz, what's up? It's the biggest show in the land. June Torres. Vintage Frames, what's good? Yo, 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 where's my Dino's at? Give, give me my joint. That You messed up the vibe, man. Let me get it because, you know. Yo, Fleazy Nation, man. My nephew held me down last night. I'm going to get to it. Ball alert, what's good? My mother, what's good? It's my father's birthday today. Papi, te quiero, te amo. Uh, te veo un par de días, pero te quiero, Cuba. Me oíste? Let's get to it. Listen, the first thing I want to do is apologize to Lil Mo and Vita and any woman who feel disrespected by what I said. I don't just love black women. I adore them. I worship them. You are the queens. You are my queens. Simple. Follow the track record. For 26 years, for as long as you know me, you know where I come from. I love all women, especially the black women. I love them all. I am apologizing. To anyone I offended, anyone I offended, I was in hip hop, we was in a rap battle, I got besides myself. I'm going to break that down to you in this recap. But to Little Mo, I love you. You are a queen. You are a legend. You are an icon. You did such an amazing job yesterday. I seen Little Mo before it happened. Hugged her. Kissed her. After I realized that I went too far, I went up to her and tried to tell her sorry. I told her sorry. I told Vita sorry in person before we even left the building. Before we left the building, I threw the tweet up. I'm sorry. I disrespected. I love you guys. You are my sisters in art. Then I tried to DM her. Then I try to call her. Then I text the sorry. Then I went on there in, in their IGs and commented, sorry, I love you. I love you. I love you, little Mo. I love you, Vita. The whole point of verses was to bring you out so you could get that shine, so you could get that light, because you deserve it. You're our queens. I want to make this clear. I'm not being insensitive. This is not a fluff. This is not a, a this. This is I love my black queens, my sisters who I live and I die for. I need you to understand this clearly. Because I was out of line, but I was in that rage. So I want anybody who knows the girls let them know I love them. Sid, not fake love, true love. True love. Now, let's get to it. Versus, it's a different type of animal. Different type of animal. Okay? Because you got to prepare. You got to go to what? Let's see how this happened too. Let's bring it back. Let me explain something to you. Mob Deep Havoc, 
I see you. Noriega, I see you. The whole hip hop industry, I see you. I appreciate you guys. I did it for hip hop. So now, because the big, big show been going so viral, they stepped to me versus. I told y'all time and time again, I love versus. Shout out Melissa from, Ver from Trilla. What's up, baby? I love versus. I love watching. Obviously, you see, I stepped in some shit because I am a warlord. I was raised by BDP, KRS-One. I was raised by the greats. You got to understand. I was there when the outsiders from New Jersey introduced Eminem to the world. I was there when Big Daddy Kane brought out Jay-Z for the first time. I was there when Bismarck E. Rest in Peace brought out Big Daddy Kane for the first time. I was there when Lord Finesse brought out Big L for the first time. I was there when I brought Big Pun out for the first time. I'm hip hop. And so I'm preparing for this. You got to understand, I've been going so viral. Thank God. We've been doing what we're doing. We're doing shows. We're doing all type of stuff. And so they come to me. They say, Joe, we need you to do the verses. Bad. We want you to do the verses. Now, without being disrespectful, there's a bag included. Now, they after me. Yo, Scrappy, what's up, baby? ATL in the building. Jeff Arison, what's up? They after me with the bag. So I negotiate the bag. Then they say, Joe, we have a law in verses. Whoever gets this bag, we got to give the comp competitor the same bag. So they said, who do you want to give the bag to? Hello? Who do you want to give the bag to? I thought of a lot of friends and I said, you know what? This man saved my life. This man needs to be in his notoriety. These people need to see his greatness. I put myself in the line of fire. I knew the man had 17 number ones. I'm not delusional. You are. And so... We hit up Ja Rule, say, yo, I got the bag for you. Say no more crap. It's one of my best friends on earth. I'm one of the only guys that went to war with Ja Rule. Cool. So just be clear about this, right? And so I'm not delusional. A lot of you people thought because it's beef or whatever, whatever the case may be, this man doesn't have hits. He got 17 number one hits. Anybody in their right mind would not walk in the building with him. You got to be on drugs. Let alone Fat Joe. Who's relevant. Who's popping. I got a lot to lose. I have a lot to lose. And so, hit for hit, that, that, it's not going to happen. I'm going to tell you this story. I don't cry much. Been to jail, people killed, whatever you say, I don't cry much. I met my brother Big Pun's funeral. I never met Ja Rule before this. I believe that God does everything for a reason. Now, I'm at Punch Funeral and I break down and I'm just crying. Mountains of tears. I'm just crying. 
I'm looking at the floor, I'm crying. I look up and it's a giant in front of me. It's Ja Rule. That minute that I seen this man that I didn't know at that moment, it clicked in my brain and said, he's here for a reason. I connected with him and got a bond. He said, yo, sorry about your brother. Four months later, the whole entire world turned their back on me. My best friends said it was over for me. We know Big Pun is a hundred million times better than Fat Joe. So everybody thought it was over. I'm going through depression at the time. I get a phone call in the middle of the night in my house. I still got the house phone. It rings. It's Ja Rule and Irv Gotti. Yo, we at the hit factory, my brother. Come down. We want to see you. I come to the hit factory. They press play. What's love comes on through? Then it. Then it. Then it, then, 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 it's what's love. A smash hit when everybody doubted me. I was going through depression. My brother died. My sister died. My grandfather, same time. They gave me the biggest hit of my life. And so you wonder why the loyalty. Me and Ja said, we got to hype this shit up and take shots at each other. But we know at the end, there's a kumbaya moment called New York. Now, New York was my song that we gave to Ja Rule. Shout out Cool and Dre. Another thing that maybe Ja Rule doesn't even know. When he was going through that fight, they played me the record, fuck it, I'm going to say it, the record he had with R. Kelly. If it wasn't for them, it was Ja Rule singing that. I'm driving on the highway with Chris Gotti. This is at the time where people wasn't trying to stand next to Ja Rule. I'm in the car with Chris, who's my brother. Chris Gotti, Irv Gotti's brother, was there when my daughter was born. This is how tight we are, guys. So I go in the car. He plays it to me. I said, man, R. Kelly would sound amazing on that. Why? If he sings that, it's over. It's going to be a smash. Long story short, I fly myself. To Chicago and get R. Kelly to sing this hook for him, which he wrote. Uh, uh, ja Rule wrote and sang it, and it was all of the loyalty. The loyalty to Ja Rule for helping me. And that's what you saw last night. I'm not a bad guy. I never am a bad guy. You love me because I'm positive and uplifted. But last night, this was a sound clash. Now, to have a battle after the dit set locks battle, which was the most competitive, illest battle in the game, it's almost like you're setting yourself up for failure. You know it was in there. The violence, shooting dice in the bathroom. Shit was out of control. Not tonight. No PCR tests. No vaccination card. No Madison Square Garden. Shout out to my sister MC Light. I was supposed to get a niece in. I had like 50 of my people couldn't get it. They almost ain't let Ruben Diaz in the Bronx Borough president. The security went too far. Releasing the huh? Releasing the they went too far. Right? 
So now, you got to understand, I prepared. There is no way. There probably isn't another rapper. There isn't another rapper who could go hit for hit with Ja Rule. See, I could have picked even, and Fab, I saw you in the comments. If you want to know what the outfit is, it was Louis Vuitton. Okay, Fab? That was Louis Vuitton looking like Carhartt with the Travis on, and them diamonds were so legend. But I mean, when I say legend, you got to relax. You got to relax. Now, I go in there, I'm going to represent real hip hop. I've been in this for 26 years. I'm DITC. I'm DITC. What up, Nori? Crazy legs. I'm D Puerto Rico Rob. I'm DITC. Spider Mitchell was good, baby. I got to do the enemy big hell. So I come up in there. And let me tell you something. You ever heard about actors when they get into doing a movie and they and 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 they get into that zone? I'm in the building. I walk downstairs. The doormans go, get them crack. White guys. Get them crack. I drive the car out the parking spot, and the FedEx man says. Get him, crack. I'm stuck at the light. The crossing guard says, Get him, crack. I swear to God that I thought I was Iron Mike Tyson. I was on some shit. I thought I was in a prize fight. And so, I threw on the army fatigue and the chuckers. The big, 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 big TSJ. The mother shit. Shout out to Raul for giving me the big piece. I'm going to send it back. I'm sitting there. There's so much. What's up, my brother Johnny Gill, living legend? There's so much violence flowing through my veins. Because I went back into... 19-year-old Fat Joe from Forest Projects. This isn't good. You guys haven't seen this in a long time. And so I'm in character. I watch KRS-One throw people off the stage. So I'm ready to take his head off. I walk out to the instrumental of the bridge is over. You know it well. Boom, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -dum, ba boom. I did not come to play. Ja Rule came out, which, let's be clear, bit of a cheat code right there. You ask me, he should have chose that as his first record, that, that Rocky beat. That shit is crazy. When he did that, I said, hallelujah, that's out of here. Get that shit gone, pa' fuera, papi. Let that shit out. Oh, that should walk out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Because we were scared of that one. And so, he comes up. He knows, and I know the whole time, we're going to compete. But he knows I love him and he loves me. I love his wife. You want me to spoil the excitement? I hung out with him and his wife the night before. This is my brother. For all of you who think, oh, Joe's so mean. No. You've been bamboozled. Yes, you have been. WWE at its finest. But we're going to go hard for hip hop. So I'm up in there. You got to understand 26 years. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to flow Joe. You got to flow Joe. You got to, got to. 
Flow, Joe. Army fatigue. Chuck is ready for war. He come up in there. He got army fatigue too. Kind of bugged me out. I was expecting the cardigan. So he's coming. He's on his shit. He got energy. I'm not confused. So the only way for me to even stand in there with Ja Rule, I'm telling you, your favorite rappers would have not chose. They would have not chose Ja Rule. And so the man, he got 17 number ones. So I got to stand toe to toe with this guy. So the only fights make style. The reason we like a fight where a guy can knock the guy out, the other guy can move, is because styles make fights. And so, Ja Rule was going to come hit. That's all. He really, all he got is hits. So I was trying to make him play the street joints he got, which is a little weaker than the hits. It worked. And so I hit him body blow. Flow your body blow, body blow. Knock him out. DJ Tech, amazing. I stole him from JD kissing the locks. I'm no fool. I knew the man won two verses in a row. Mind you, Fab, when you lost that verses, I said nothing. When I fuck with somebody, I fuck with them. Even I, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. When you had them tight leather pants on, I said nothing. Okay, let's go back. Because you got to understand, versus is hip-hop. It allows everybody to comment. That's hip-hop. You can comment, you can do. But when your brother's doing sometimes it's, ah, it hurts a little bit more. It hurts a little bit more. So we going in there blow for blow. And so the guy... He's walking right into my trap. He's, yo, I, eh, eh, eh. and I said, John, let me ask you a question. Now, who the fuck you think you talking to? It almost looked choreographed. I couldn't, be, it couldn't be a better alley-oop. So now I'm walking, and they're like, oh my God, they might fight. The garden is going crazy. The comments is going crazy. And so, he got tricks up the sleeve. I got tricks up my sleeve. So we going. John, you like making songs with ladies. My girl, she hit a little different. Annie Up comes out. Wish I could bring Pun back. Wish I could bring... Bow, bow, bow. Take that, take that, take that. Mind you, Adam Rodriguez, have I mentioned this was the biggest ratings versus in the history of its existence? This is the biggest ratings in the existence of versus. Not bad for the guys you love to hate. Fat Joe's washed up. Joe's washed up. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to look at this. Wrong matchup. It's number one. 1. 1.9 million people checked in. I'm going to post it. Off of Trilla and Versus. You damn right. Yesterday's price. Is not today's price. And so I'm in my bag. These guys know they not like me. Not built like me. I'm looking the crowd in their face. You trying to front on me? Oh. So John goes crazy. He's supposed to. 
Numbers don't lie, James Cruz. Santana Raymond, I see you. He is supposed to. He has 17 number ones. What the fuck you want me to do? So I'm going street. The only thing I can do, come in. Come in the all the way up. Bro. Come on. All the way up. They're not going to do. I don't know if you've been watching these verses. But Babyface went up there and played the Bobby Brown records he did for him. What do you think Diddy's going to do? If Irv Gotti goes, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to play records they produce. So I do John Blaze. Legendary track with Nas. Raekwon. Jada Kiss. Big Pun. Then I go into thinking I stop it. I say, yo. Because they always trying to diss me and... Last week I was a rat. They cleared it up. This week I'm not this. I get washed. You're liars. If I ever listened to these people, I would be broke. These people are liars. And so I go, and I get, oh my God, I made Remy rich. I made Cool and Dre rich. Khaled is the richest. And thinking of that, I think of, I drop big pun shit. Oh, you cheat. No, sir. That's my record. I put Joe the single on that record. I think I worked on that record. It's mine. It's Terror Squad. Meanwhile, the man got me dizzy with too many hits. You got to understand, guys. I do tours and shows with Ja Rule all the time. He is the only artist, I swear. I do show, I could do shows with anybody. The biggest artist you name, after I do my show, I go home or to my hotel and I'm good. If Ja Rule's performing, I sit down and I watch the show. I love to watch him perform. I knew what he was gonna do. But you seen that this was a movie. This was designed like Hamilton. This wasn't these other battles or these other things. This was a movie. You had the intensity. And we going and Remy's going, bah, bah, bah. And we all the way up and he's, oh my God, these rainy days. He brings out Little Mo. The queen Little Mo, the living legend. I'm like, holy shit. Body blow, body blow, body blow. Knock him out. My wife's right here. I always thought Vita was beautiful. Always. She come out, I'm like, holy shit. So we get to that, all I do is win, win, win remix. That I'm on. I discovered cat. These are big records, guys. Like you really, I don't know if y'all really watched this thing right. Now, call me crazy, dumb, or delusional, but I don't think I lost to this moment. No. <laughs> Bless you. It's a rock, a much finer vodka. Thank you, See, at this point, see, Jada Kiss made it real hard because he said, yo, if you don't, if you don't, uh, uh, if, 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 if you don't say all the lyrics, if you rap to the shit, you whack, this is New York. Do you know how hard, by the way, guys, I'm an OG and I'm fat. Breaking news. I'm an older, I'm a vet, and I'm fat. And you see this. I want you to look back how I'm moving, how I'm spitting. Kate, is this. I have cramps all over my body at this point. He knows it. He said he's going to sweat me out. 
He did. Son, let me make an excuse. Y'all, I got to go change. Terrell is my stylist. Thank you, Terrell. Terrell, let's go change. Jesus Christ. Give me a fucking oxygen machine. I got cramps all over my stomach. This guy's unfazed. I know he's going to take the shirt off and fucking be six packed up. I go upstairs. I got to change the whole shit. I had chuckers on. I don't know if you've been to some chuckers lately. I tell you, oh, I'm trying to stall. Breathe. Oh, breathe. Oh, now. You know, Spider Mitchell, this shit was warfare. This was war. So I said, and then somebody come back like, Joe, five minutes. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm stalling. I got to get in. Meanwhile, we look at the comments. They're like, yo, this shit like a half an hour. What the fuck going on? Then Joe, we got to go down there, bro. We got to go down there. It takes you 15 minutes to walk to the dressing room. I'm just saying, nah, but Rich, Rich, I'm, I'm saying the truth. It was far. Whatever. Terrell, get me up. Around the time, my brother, fabulous. This is my outfit. By the way, it was Louis Vuitton. The diamonds hit different. Pristine. This is disrespect. And so you want to see your OGs looking good. So I go down there. I'm on the side. Shout out to Ted Smooth. Pretty Lou, they held it down. DJ Drama was good. Hey, yo, Dino. Many a men make Cardi airframes. The best come from Detroit. But they not like Dino. They not like Dino. Now. Yes, Brooklyn Johnny. This shit hit different. So now. I turn around. Yeah, John. Yesterday's hits ain't today's hits. He goes first. And out the sunshine of my life. I ain't gonna like think I need that back. Can't do it like that. I'm almost in my bag bag. But this guy, around that time where we did so excited and yes and oof, oof. I mean, I got to, this guy's just bow, J-Lo. Bow, little Mo. Bow, and he's just Bobby Brown. Bow. I'm starting to feel woozy. I'm starting to feel woozy. Shit. He goes. He plays. Oh, let me give you something I wrote. He plays Mary J. Blige. That's the queen. I had to break. What's very hard is when you're in one of these things and you competitive, it's to show love to the next. I had to sing this record. It's my sister and my brother. I couldn't take it. I'm singing this shit with, oh, I pen this. I told him something that might be considered flagrant. Around the time, one of my best friends took shots at me. I mean, this verses. Versus comments is like drunk minds. It speaks a sober tongue. Versus comments is like a drunk mind. It speaks a sober tongue. We watching. Scott Storch, I stood by this man my whole life. Check his documentary. He'll tell you. The man. So I take a cheap shot. Another one of those uh, whack shit. And I said, oh, you wrote that? Well, I made Candy Shop. I fucking did. And so now, Sky Storch, one of the greatest producers of all time, maybe the greatest producer 
of all time. He can play anything. So when we do lean back, I go boom, 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 blah, 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 and he plays it. And I'm been in there, nail, nail, and he plays it. I'm not lying. Did I take credit for producing that beat with him? No. But if you're in the industry, you know that is producing. It's cool. Scott, you're the king. You're the legend. I love you. I'm in the studio with him one day. Little Kim is in there. I see you, Mr. Papers. This is way before you knew Little Kim. She's in there. And she's Scott, let's work. He's in there. He's on fire. So I come up. Boom, no, 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 no. He plays that. That's that old school, like Eric B. Rock Kim intro. Then we go in. I got Little Kim doing the belly dance. Fucking ask Little Kim if you think I'm lying. She doing the belly dance. Boom. And and I'm like, I'm like, yo, do the beat to that. We need some motherfucking. We need some. We need some fucking belly dance. Hey, hey, uh, did I take credit for that? No. When I left, Scott Storch called me 50 times. Yo, 50 Cent just came in after you. We didn't have beef at the time. Yo, he wants to beat. I said, he could take it. Yo, he wants to let him have it. We didn't have beef. Yo, let him take it. Then he turns it into candy shop. 50 Cent will co-sign this story. I could have did shit like that. How about Puff Daddy? Mommy bang hockey. I want to be your poppy chulo. Can't you see? Baby, I need you conmigo. Your style is my... Who you think wrote that? I didn't go there. You know, with Lion D on the front, I put Lion D on the front. You think Puff Daddy knew about that? Puff Daddy will co-sign. Never took credit. So he does his thing. At this point, I'm like, okay. We get into the Chris Brown another round. We get into the ladies. And y'all must have forgot. And so he plays something major. And I come with another round. Another round. I used to want you and I. And I yeah. That record's still paying the bills, guys. And so he starts singing this shit with me. I said, Chris, Chris, Remy says, Chris can't make it. You want it? The motherfucker starts singing. I want you and I. I'm like, motherfucker, this guy, John. This guy, John, it's like. He won't stop. He just, even while you winning, he's hitting you with body. I said, okay, we got this motherfucker, right? He won't stop playing hits. Then I say, you know what? Let's bring the big dog out. And the big dog couldn't wait. When I dropped the flyer, that said, Fat Joe versus Ja Rule. It said, 10, 9, 8, 7. My phone rang in four seconds. Yo, big dog. Need me to come to New York? It's Nelly of the St. Lunatics. Dirty! By the way, get it popping when number one in America... Get it popping, whether you like it or not. I know it's a little pop, but be clear, it went number one in America. And so I go, come on down. Now, I don't know if he wants to salute his brother. He's always been a real one with me. Or he wants his old thing back. This is what we call a Jopra moment. When you hear shit you never heard before. I don't know if he really wanted to support me 
or he wanted his old thing back. And so he come Louis Vuitton shiny teeth, waves in his head. It's two uh, in the morning, uh, and then the DJ, and, huh? I don't know what you want to do. Now the place is in pandemonium. They starting to see Joe's trying to turn up and finish off strong. So now you see these fights where they in the 12th round and shout out Edgar Balanga and they going blow for blow and everybody's going and it's, it's one of them. He falls there, he gets him. He says, don't fuck with me. And so we cheat. Technician who is a certified cheater, but one of the best DJs you could ever have in your life. I learned so much. God bless you, Tech. You're one of the best DJs ever. And so, technician goes and goes, hot and are so hot in here. Meanwhile, you're getting this for free. You ain't think dirty was coming out. And so the man, hot and hot in here. Come on. You got to be shitting me. I heard all the recaps. It ain't the real one. If Fat Joe don't do it. I am the king of recaps. And the price has gone up. At this point, the crowd is starting to realize, holy shit, this guy got missiles too. So he goes, boom, he brings out, oh, you got a star? Oh, let me bring out my star. He brings out my sister Ashanti. They tear this shit down. You got to understand. And this is not a cheap shot. It's no disrespect. Maybe I shouldn't say it because I always get in trouble. But you know, Ashanti, the first record she ever did was featured on Big Pun's album. It was called How We Roll. And so I met her in Murder, Inc. studio. And I said, what the girl over there does? She see all the time. They said she sings. She sings. She gets in the booth and starts singing. That's how we wrote. That was her first record, guys. So she's rocking with Josh. She loves him. She probably loves him more than me. Who cares? They're like this. It's like saying Joe and Ren. Chanti and Ja Rule. Nobody's delusional, but she loves me. And so when he finished, by the way, I smelt a shirt. Look, that's my sister. Let's be clear. My wife is over there. My daughter's a Listen, we are sisters and brothers. When I big her up, I'm just making a movie for my sister. Don't get this shit confused. No way, shape, or form. She's my sister and she loves me and she feels comfortable. If you notice, my accountant is a woman. My manager is a woman. My best friend, my sister Remy is a woman. All I do is woman empowerment, bro. And they're comfortable around me because I respect. So with that being said, I'm entertaining. Are you not entertained? You are out there looking like this is Hamilton. This is a fucking movie. Chanty Rocks, what's going to happen? I said, hold up. Mamita. Come over here, Mamita. I need you for a second. And she turns around and she she loves this shit. If anybody won the verses, it's Ashanti and Remy and the ladies. Ashanti turns around. Yes, brother. Come here. We do what's love. 
and fuck up the place.